Imagine if I ask you to draw a little girl on a piece of paper. Maybe you imagine something like this. Now, add a tree behind her. Maybe you imagine something like this. Or more like this. Maybe this one. Or even this. Our brain is able to create different interpretations for the same idea. Plato developed the idea of mimesis to define the ability to copy or to imitate. This ability, this skill to imitate or to craft something out of our mind, was later called ars. So art, by its own etymology, is the ability to imitate something through a skill or a craft. It doesn't matter the object, the person or the landscape. Art is all about the form, the interpretation. Now, what happens when two of the greatest artists in history tries to interpret the same thing, especially the same text? Belshazzar, the king, made a great feast for a thousand of his lords, drinking wine before the thousand. Daniel chapter 5 verse 1 First of all, let's analyze the text. In Daniel 5, the king of Babylon, Belshazzar, used the gold and silver vessels that his father, King Nebuchadnezzar, had stolen from the temple in Jerusalem to drink wine with his wives and concubines. On Daniel chapter 5, verses 4 and 5, they took their wine and gave praise to the gods of gold and silver, of brass and iron and wood and stone. Then the king was surprised by what Daniel chapter 5 verse 5 narrates. In that very hour the fingers of a man's hand were seen, writing opposite the support for the light on the white wall of the king's house, and the king saw the part of the hand which was writing. Daniel chapter 5 verse 5 The king was in profound shock. The words writing on the wall were many, many, the cow a passing. Now how two of the greatest painters of all time depicts this event? John Martin was an English painter and worked his life out of the fictions of the Holy Bible. Otherwise, Rembrandt was one of the most famous Dutch painters of all time. Two visions from the same event. Let's start with Rembrandt. His representation is based on a more particular view of the event reduced to King Belshazzar and his clothes once. His painting depicts the surprise and the shock that took the king's face. The hand that writes on the wall is so close to the king that it feels like it's writing a sentence. The geometry of the painting also gives us a sense of order and chaos. Belshazzar is paced like a triangle shaped, with edges. Meanwhile, the words on the wall are illuminated by a round, circular glow, without any edge. The edge represents imperfection and hardness, while the circular shapes represent perfection and peace. We can also see wine being poured from the cup of one of King's guests. Wine is commonly used to symbolize blood, which seems to accurately reference to the meaning of the text on the wall, Belshazzar's death and the end of his reign. On the other hand, John Martin provides one of the most magnificent paintings ever made, and its magnitude can be daunting at first glance. Of course, it's a magnificent work and one of the most beautiful paintings of all time. In his interpretation, the words on the wall are not relegated to the king, but in full sight at all the guests, in one of the highest points of the palace. The feast is far more bigger than in Rembrandt's painting and show us the despair reaction that took everyone. John Martin decides not to use the hand, but a symbolic thunderbolt coming from the heavens. The thunderbolt also symbolizes the breaking of Belshazzar's reign as it cuts through the Thales Tower in the background. Martin also plays emphasis on the pagan worship of Belshazzar making clear the presence of several statues throughout the palace. Finally, there is a special detail placed in the sky. The moon. The moon is in its waxing crescent phase, one after the new moon, which represents a new cycle, symbolizing again the end of Belshazzar's reign and a new era for his people. 
Such symbolism is even more evident when we know that Belshazzar was the last king of Babylon. The narration continues with the fact that the mysterious language could not be read by any of the sages of the kingdom. So they called Daniel, a well-known dream interpreter from the kingdom. Daniel then translated the strange language, which said that a king's pride in use the vessels of the temple of God would make him lose his kingdom. That same night, Belshazzar was killed and Darius took Babylon. Two different interpretations of the same text. Two different ways to show us how this event must have been. Two complete different views with different symbolic elements. This is art.